in orange. We start the final session on day five of the swimming competition with the men's 400 meter freestyle S13 final. Yaroslav Denisenko will be wanting to challenge the seven time Paralympic champion Ihar Boki of Belarus in lane four. Swimmers as they line up will be trying to overhaul the great Belarusian swimmer who is the world champion, world record holder, defending champion, Paralympic record holder in the S13 classification, bear in mind Chufarov, for example, swims in the S12 classification as it, and is indeed the world record holder over this distance, the men's 400 freestyle in the S12 classification of 405.95 So the swimmers to be introduced individually come the finals and expect a very big roar first up in the pool because the very first swimmer out to be introduced is a local lad, 27-year-old Tomas Matera, performing in front of the Brazilian faithful, representing the host nation at Rio 2016. Matera goes in eight. Jacob Templeton of Australia, 21-year-old, more of a sprinter than uh, a long-distance swimmer. Interesting to see how he'll approach the race tactically. He goes in lane one. From the Ukraine, Silver medalist in 2012, Danilo Chufarov, 27 year old bronze in the 200 IM already, and silver in 2008 and 2012 in this uh, event. Incidentally, the world champion in S12 class in 2013. Braden Jason, a man with a love of life saving, a natural in the pool, ranked third in the world in this event. A man from Queensland goes in lane two. Raman Salai of Azerbaijan, Belarusian born. His older brother Dmitry, a Paralympic gold medalist. Looking for a medal for Azerbaijan in the pool. Dmitry Horlin of Uzbekistan goes in lane three, a 413.69 in the preliminaries for the Uzbek swimmer. Good solid shout for medal. Man to look out for though, alongside Boki, will be this man, Yaroslav Denisenko, 24 year old silver in the 200 individual medley already at these games. And his partner, Katarina Slumina, already a gold medalist. But Ihar Boki, a 22 year old who is a seven time Paralympic gold medalist. Gold in the 100 fly, gold in the 200 individual medley, bronze in the 100 meter breaststroke in what was his weakest event. And to be on the podium in your weakest event certainly sends out a message to every other swimmer in your classification. Boki of Belarus is undoubtedly the man to be the world record holder, the only 355 swimmer in the pool and the only swimmer to go sub four in recent times. Dimitri Holland in three for a moment you saw. Templeton, Jason, Holland, Boki, Denisenko, Salai, Chufarov, Matera. The final session on day five of the swimming competition at Rio 2016 getting underway. The men's 400 freestyle is 13. Very quick reaction time from Braden Jason. He's very quick off the starters blocks, but it's the underwater of Boki and Denisenko that proves decisive already, not even at the 25 meter mark. And these two already at least uh, half a body length ahead. Certainly is Denisenko who's taken it out very, very hard. His partner, Katarina Istomina, already at uh, Rio 2016 has shown he, she has the ability to upset more fancied opponents in the pool. And she beat, amongst others, the great Jessica Long, the most decorated of the active Paralympians for the USA. But Yaroslav Denisenko leading at the moment over Ihar Boki 
who will find his settled rhythm, no doubt, and will know that the challenge is on. Denisenko has plenty left, you would imagine, took it easy and still swam a 4.05 in the morning session. But don't forget the likes of Raman Saleh, likes to take it out hard. If he has a little more endurance, could be a challenger for a medal. Maya Holland, who goes in three for Uzbekistan, will be an outside bet as well for a medal, if not even challenging for a silver. Yes, Holland sitting in a nice position there, as well as Saleh further down the screen. But the man in the lead at the moment is Denis Senko. Although Boki has made a move in the start of this second 200, he's He's swimming just off the shoulder, but he's going to be come in and touch in at that 150 mark, neck in neck. And it's bulky just 10 tenths of a second off the pace, but very close across the pool at the moment. It's going to be a good battle, an intriguing battle in the latter stages of, stages of the race. And the pair now just starting to drop the rest of the field as they head into the 200 metre mark. Well, Chufarov is being left behind going in lane seven, which is somewhat disappointing for the Ukrainian 2013 world champion in his classification, S12, and a man who was silver medalist four years ago, where Borki shot to prominence with those five gold medals in seven events, six medals overall. But Borki, at the halfway mark, finds himself turning into uh, the lead. A 158.02, he was at the 200 metre mark, so a little off world record pace. He'll have to swim negative splits if he is to uh, get himself into world record contention but certainly he's only concerned about the gold medal right now which he is challenged for by uh, Denisenko of Ukraine these two swimmers have put themselves a good distance ahead of any other swimmer in the pool all in turns third quickest well uh, just behind him is Braden Jason of Australia the 18 year old is putting on uh, just a little bit of pressure man who is ranked third in this event overall trains the Sunshine Coast in Queensland where he lives and is now looking to make up a little ground on currently third placed Holland of Uzbekistan. Now there's only two swimmers in it for gold right now. One will claim gold, one will claim silver. It's Borki who turns with 100 to go. 0.76 of a second ahead of Ukraine's Denisenko. Yeah, it does look as though Denisenko's stroke is shortening ever so slightly. I do wonder whether he's starting to tire a little, but Borki's certainly looking so strong. If anything, his tempo has stayed the same. He certainly hasn't increase the, the turnover of those arms as they head into this crucial final turn and it is Bocky with the edge at the moment it's turning into about half a body length and Denisenko certainly has his work cut out for him in the final 50. Oh well Denisenko is definitely tiring how short was his underwater at that final turn that's a, a certain indication that he hasn't quite got the strength he had at the start of the race where he was looking to take the race to Bocky the gold medal favorite the defending champion the world champion the world record holder, the 22-year-old, is set for his third gold medal here and he's really turning it on at the end. It's going to be outside of world record time, is it? Paralympic record for Borki, though. Not too far off his own world record. Only six hundredths of a second. Denisenko takes the silver. While well, coming in for the bronze is Holland. Oh, Uzbekistan. Great and Jason made a move. But unfortunately for the Australian, did not pay off. Uzbekistan claimed the bronze. Touching fourth. Is Raman Saleh just out of the re, uh, just outside the reckoning again? And I can tell you that uh, Chufarov has also swum a very good 4.10. But Raman Saleh, also an S12 swimmer, has posted a uh, fairly quick time overall. And Dimitri Horland was just set a Paralympic record in the S12 classification as well in, on his way to finishing in third overall. There it is, confirmation 406.63. Holland finishes in bronze medal position, but Borki ahead of Denisenko, ahead of Holland. Borki now an eight-time Paralympic champion and three golds in four events, having medaled in all four at Rio 2016. Well, he clearly loves performing here at the aquatic center but he was certainly pushed particularly over the first 200 meters it wasn't until around the 300 meter mark that Denisenko he'd taken it out very hard and led the race for the first 150 things started to jostle a bit at the 200 and it was a telling 300 meter mark and in the end Bocky almost looked as though he did it with ease well he did he's uh he's somebody who 
was a little embittered by losing out in the 53 in London. But uh, the sportsmanship evidenced again in the pool as Borky and Denisenko congratulate one another. Both sub four minutes. A Paralympic record for Haaland in his classification, S12. He finishes in bronze medal position overall, but it's Borky ahead of Denisenko for gold and silver.